Assalamu alaikum fellow YouTubers. Thank you for posting the videos in which you guys have shown how to make cells uh, using carbon rods and different kind of things. So I did a few experiments and I noticed that uh, it can be made out of carbon rod like this or it can be made out of using uh, simple coal. So this is barbecue coal wrapped inside a paper towel that was dipped inside this. But instead of dipping this towel in it, what I did, I dipped the entire uh, charcoal in it and after some time I took it out. This is a solution of uh, water, a uh, little bit of water, then vinegar, salt, and I put a little bit of oil in it so that it, it's uh, the water doesn't get evaporated that quickly. Uh, oil creates a little bit of damp so when you, this, this, which keeps it wet for longer time. Uh, so, this one with a carbon rod, proper carbon rod, it's giving if you can if you can see here right now okay around 1.9 1 1.3 yeah around 1.9 uh, and if you look at the but here's the one made with charcoal so both of them kind of giving the same voltage which means these two materials when carbon and magnesium they are kind of they're done like this 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 is what you get let's look at the amps first let's make it to 2 milliamp and see if it's giving 2 milliamp all right let's go to 20 scale it up all right why is it not working Okay, it jumps, and when you see one, that means it's it's more than twenty. Okay, so sometimes it jumps to because I don't have proper connectors on it, so it jumps more than hundred milliamps. Let's look at this one. Wow it's going to as high as like 30 plus so 1.7 multiplied by 30 amps will be 0 0.03 so that's enough water that's I think that's enough juice if I have two of these I can I can lit up an uh, LED easily not a problem I just wanted to share it with you uh, my friends at Pakistan I know they, they, they won't be able to get these magnesium ribbons because right now I'm sitting here in China and it's easy to get my hands on these things. What they can do is they can use this solding wire which is very easy to get from any market, right? You can wrap this uh, instead of this magnesium and it also works great. Uh, just make sure that you have one layer of wet paper towel then on top of that you put another dry towel so that it's not like completely soaked up and then you wrap this thing on it. If you use magnesium for if you get your hands on magnesium Try not to put anything on top of magnesium, all right? It needs to touch this dry uh, tissue uh, tissue paper because the moment you get something on it, it starts losing itself because this is what, it, what will happen. It will, it will start losing electrons and a white kind of layer will be formed on top of it uh, and then it will be no longer in use. You have to scrub that white thing off in order to get uh, current from it. So right now I'm not doing anything to it. I'm not even, I'm trying to refraining from touching it so that it doesn't get dirty and start oxidizing. But this is the <laughs> this is the easiest way. Wrap it inside of a towel and when you when you get these coals make sure I have two kinds of charcoals here in my so I had like these solid pieces but they were not good. The one which I already burned and had cracks in them like this through which air can flow easily and can get soaked easily they were giving more output so these are a few things i thought i would share with you once again uh, share with me if you try something else in it like i put a few drops of oil to make sure it, it gets wet for a long time if you have any suggestion please please share it with me thank you